Hello, welcome to Straw Family Farm Take 2. I'm Christy. Today in the chapel we've got Proverbs 2.11. Discretion will protect you and understanding will guard you. So, yeah. Alright. So, got a couple of things today. It's not um, been a really busy week. Uh... It's just been one of those weeks. <laughs> so this weekend I worked on some things to fi to finish up some things for Valentine's Day. Um, I had one order. It's not really an order. A friend asked me to do them. Um, and I was like, sure, I'll play. So I've got some little hankies. And these are brand new and they have little strings on them. I'm going to have to clip them because I don't want it to reflect on me. She bought these. but um hook gun fishing uh <laughs> the rod father oops and then this one right here good things come to those who bait so i'm not doing too bad in the embroidery then i had um shelby's to do um Shelby's a friend of mine, and we always exchange Valentines. Uh, I don't know why. Um, it's She knew Warren when he was little and called her his boyfriend, and so anyway, we've just always done it. So I went and got the little uh, cotton. I say little. They're the big. I love these things. I don't know why. I just really like how big they are. They're kitchen, um, what do you call it, towels. And I got those, and I decided that I was going to make her, she loves dachshunds, and that may be why she calls one her boyfriend. I don't know. It's just life, okay? So, first I made this one with the little doxy on it. I didn't get all of them centered. And then she has three dogs, so I thought this is cute because it says I'm loved. And I actually added the I'm loved. It was just a dachshund and the thing. So, I added that. So, you got those. Then I found this one, and then if it's not a dachshund, it's just a dog. So I did those for her. Um, I have a little um, crystal dachshund for her too. So, um, but yeah, so I did those, and I was working on those, and believe it or not, it took me a little bit to get them done. Okay, I'm not great at it. So, yeah, it just is what it is. Um, I'm in this little bag and I'm putting them back in because I don't want the things broke. Okay, I've got, and I do have it packed. I didn't use any tissue paper. I literally used the, the towels to pack the little thing in it. So anyway, I made, I worked on, it took me all day Saturday to do these four. Now there was another one and I screwed it up. So I had to, yeah, it was a big screw up. Um, the, because they were so big, I had to watch um, each time and make sure that the, edge didn't get folded back underneath well in one it did and i was gonna do that it was treat a clock somewhere you know that song it's five o'clock somewhere well i was gonna do that it's treat a clock somewhere so um yeah it's done <laughs> but it got folded back under her and it was way too much to tear out so yeah it it didn't turn out so good but i can only, always use it next time and i'm struggling to figure out what embroidery i have put on towels for her so on my computer i literally have a folder with what i've used for her um 
I don't know if I should just label them or keep a list or I don't know. But I'll figure out a way to so that I'm not duplicating a lot of things. I want to know that I use this one on a towel for her and that one on a towel for her and you know what I mean? So I guess I'm just going to do a notebook. I mean, I, I don't know. You know, I just don't know. So anyway, there's that going on. Took me all day Saturday. Um, Sunday, I cleaned the house, did the grocery shopping. My room is a mess because, um, and I've got to get in there and start working on it. Whenever I work in the office to sew or whatever, um, I have to dig out stuff out of the totes and I end up with a mess all over the room. You know what I mean? And so I'm struggling to, uh, figure out how that not to happen because I'm yeah there's stuff all over and I have one path to my bed and that's it and at the foot of the bed I have my laundry because I did all my laundry but I haven't got it put away yet so really need to get back there and clean that mess up but all right so I got a birthday gift that is amazing and I wanted to introduce you to him first and then we'll go from there. Okay. So I pre-recorded because once I got into it, I was like, who I want to play. Uh, and so I wanted you to see them in the beginning. So mm -hmm. I'm going to put that clip in right here. Hi. Okay. So yes, I'm pre-recording this probably already told you why. Um, I got an amazing birthday gift and I just want to share it with you before I tear it apart. And I started to tear it apart last night and then I was like, <gasps> so I got two of these. Okay. And the first one I'm going to show you, yes, I got into it. Well, I, I'll start with the other one because it, it all looks packaged pretty. So they come like this and when you open them up, they are a little kit with instructions to make shadow, oh, sorry, to make shadow box flowers. And yeah, there's a lot of blurry because a lot of white. So this one has the instruction booklet and it is uh, purples, lavenders, chamomile. Yeah. It comes with a little bit of polyfill you need to poop them out. And it's got your shadow box. Now this one came with a background. The other one doesn't have a background, but it even the background thing that they put it on is included. They have uh, a little package. This has your hook, stitch markers, uh, darning needles for weaving in the ends. It's got the wires for um, making the flower stems. It even has the glue stick that you need. It does not come with a glue gun, but it has a glue stick. Um, then it's got this little thing of ribbon that you will need. And it comes with all these little skeins of yarn that you need. So, yeah, I am loving this. I uh, have another one to show you. I got two of them for my birthday from a set of sisters that are very special to my heart. Um, and they, oops, try to put it all back together. So, but this is the purple one. I hope y'all can see that. It is beautiful. There we go. And so, um, I'd have to say that this is probably a lace sleep yarn. No. What's next up from lace? Fingering. Good fingering weight. Okay, so the second one that I got, and yeah, I started to do it last night and then realized, no. So, it's a sunflower with roses and daisies. So you have to picture this. I put it back. I have started some of the little things. So this is a yarn and it's got browns, the reds, the white, two different color yellows. It's got the green for the leaves, oranges, the browns, all for the, all the colors you need for this. 
Um, then, once again, now this one doesn't have a background because as you can see in the picture here, um, it's just a white background. Just a white background. So the white background is the background of the ball. So, oops, that plastic is making it. But so you get your shadow box. Okay. And then you have your yarn and your instruction booklet. Then again, you've got your little bit of polyfill that you need for the bottom for arranging them. And then this one has a different size hook. Uh, it's got the wires, the stitch markers, even the hot glue and the, it's got two darning needles. I'm not sure why, but it has two. So each of those kits come already ready and you just have to make it and put it together. So that is one of the things whew, that I will be doing while the Super Bowl is on is I will be, um, working on the sunflower one first. So, uh, I will say this and I scanned it this morning before I made this video, just to be able to tell you what it's like. Um, so inside it's got all the terminology, all the instructions and blah, blah, blah. But on part four of both of them, you can see there's a QR code. When you scan that QR code, it takes you to uh, a video. It's a very plain video, but it's a very well done video. And basically it walks you step by step through everything you need. It's one video and it'll say step one. Uh, the sunflower heart, step two, sunflower holter, step three, you know, and it literally takes you all the way through the steps from start to finish. So if you get lost or get confused about something that goes on in the, the pattern, you can go and the video is actually broke down into little sections, just like the book. And so the little booklet, when it's broke down, you know, so yeah, um, I think it's pretty awesome. Uh, I'm pretty stoked to try this and do this. I've never done this kind of thing, but you know, I've been making toys. I've been making stuffed animals. I've been making shawls. I've been making clothes. There's a big world of crochet out there. And I will say this, the yarn is a bit splitty. When I started to work with it last night, I realized it was kind of dark to be working with it because it splits a lot, but it makes me want to do thread crochet again. I might have to get my books from RJ and start with my thread crochet. So yeah. Anyway. All right. I will let you guys off of here and you guys can get back to the regularly scheduled podcast. Bye. Okay, so you've seen the clip. Um, all right. <laughs> then reality hit. Okay, just saying. Um, they're beautifully put together. I have not started the purple one yet. I did decide to start with this one. Uh, okay, so. <laughs> <laughs> all right um i have gotten the three forget-me-nots done okay i have gotten the two little rose looking ones done and I have gotten the puff flower done. Okay. So, and you can see here that most of those, these two right here, that one, I just have the daisy and the chamomile and the sunflower left to do and the leaves. Yeah, that's all. So, um, the kits are beautifully presented. Okay. That, 
it's not an issue at all. The issue is how poorly written the patterns are. Okay, so put those down here. And I have the purple one right here. I just, I haven't started it. It's still all together. Um, it's, you know, the flowers, if you read the instructions, these flowers should work up in like 10 minutes. Okay. Um, it shouldn't, oops, sorry. It, it should not be, um, the small rows is a 23 chain two rows. That's it. But <laughs> there's issues with this. Uh, okay, so it says if it's your first time uh, crocheting, scan that code. Well, first off, that code, <laughs> it, it took me someplace else. I had to find it on my own. The QR code, I don't know what the deal is. Um, but basically, it does have this right here. And it tells... <coughs> I don't know what level this is. It keep, In the beginning, it says, if you are a beginner, please scan. Okay, so a beginner should be able to do these after you figure them out. But the pattern is so poorly written. It's horrible. Um, it took me reading it, finding the video, and watching the video to figure out their terminology. And I started with the small rows because the big sunflower, I'm not even sure why they call green. Alv? A-I-L-V, and it, it's for the green yarn. I, I am not sure what the heck that means, okay? But the colors to this, um, there's coffee, that olive, I, I, I think maybe olive, but I don't know. It's more of a mossy green, but anyway. Why couldn't they just put green? It's the only green in there. There's coffee, the olive, uh, then there's brown. There is chicken yellow. Now, I don't know about you, but a chicken is white. Okay? There are no yellow chickens. I I'm not real sure what chicken yellow is um sunshine yellow yes okay um then of course there's orange and then there's a light yellow okay the forget-me-nots instead of saying red it says rose um orange is orange which is good uh and then instead of just saying white it says milky white i am not really sure um i'm even figuring out the colors okay um because i've never heard of chicken yellow have no idea other than i had to look at these and they could have even said sunflower yellow you know um hello it's a sunflower pattern sunflower yellow so basically there's a light yellow, a dark yellow, red, orange, green, the darker brown, the lighter brown, and the white. That's it. Not real confusing. So my first sign that, you know, I might have trouble is the colors. Okay. Uh, then, instead of saying... Uh, round one, chain three. It says working in a chain, 23 chain, crochet in four stitch from the bottom, two double crochet merging, merged into first single crochet, empty a stitch. <laughs> I 
<laughs> yeah. Okay. First time I've ever heard the words merged into one stitch and empty a stitch in a pattern. Okay. Uh, so what they want you to do is three double crochet leaving the, the, uh, last one you don't pull through you do it and then you do a cluster okay so it's a cluster <clears throat> um yeah instead of saying skip the next two stitches it says empty a stitch or it's skipping the one it says empty a stitch and then i'm like what and then you got to do that six times and then you got to do three double crochet merged into one stitch single crochet then you you chain two turn crochet and next stitch a double crochet increase double crochet double crochet two chain single crochet then repeat in then repeat the crochet and it repeats the whole thing over again now this is not the only issue that i had okay uh, instead of saying to, uh, use, um, I'm trying to think, let me go. I, I'm trying not to nitpick too much, but okay. Working into a magic ring, chain one, 10 single crochet, slip stitch. Instead of just saying, it literally says working into a magic ring stop it doesn't write like a pattern i don't know how to explain it here okay um round two it's got crochet three chain in the first stitch in the first stitch of the three unfinished double crochet then crochet of the four unfinished double crochet in the next stitch then pull through three eight loops at once with yarn three chain slip stitch do that five times yeah um it's very very poorly written now it only takes watching one video to figure out what they're talking about in this stuff which is a good thing um because i just looked at it at first and went what huh it's not written like a pattern so when you're ready to crochet you're ready for your pattern to be there and you're like and then you're like what does that mean if you stop and think about it it all will make sense um, but this is not something that you want a beginner to figure out. Um, and when you find the videos, you will see that they have the same uh, problems that you will. Because let's go back to the yarn. Now, I'm not sure. I'm going to have to Google that color because that's the green, you know. But let's go back to the yarn. When you're watching. Um, and I'll use the small rows as a, uh, thing. I literally went, I found it and I was like, okay, oh, I see what they mean about unfinished stitches. I see what they mean about this and that. Got it. You know, no problem. So start crocheting and I'm watching the video. <sighs> Sorry. And the orange you watch the person's hands and they're crocheting with it and they're splitting the yarn now they're supposed to be you know it it it's not even they're splitting the yarn on complicated stitches they're splitting the yarn on the chains and double crochets so needless to say this yarn is four ply. I don't know if you can see that. Very delicate, very lovely. Um, 
I, it's super soft. It's it's okay. I'm pretty sure it's acrylic. But all in all, the kits, while I'm excited to enjoy the end product, um, the patterns <laughs> take a little bit to figure out. Uh, as you can see in the first video, I was super excited, wanted to try them. The yarn and the stitches are so small that I'm going to have to do the two dark browns and do the sunflower um, in the day. In, in the evening, it gets too light or uh, too dark in here, and so I'm going to have to do it. I can't sit in front of the TV and do it. Especially since it started out, and this is where I decided I, I, it can't be. I was trying to do this during the Super Bowl and one other evening, and it was like, this is not working. So, uh, you can't see the stitches. Once I figured out the terminology, um, I was okay with it. And in the beginning, the pattern doesn't look too complicated but when you have to it's working in a magic ring one chain and then six single crochet slip stitch uh so the minute you get and you get that first round done you can't see with the coffee flavored one or coffee flavored the coffee colored yarn because number one it's dark and number two the yarn splits horribly and number three it's tiny so um just to show you what i'm talking and you can see i ripped out um i'll just i mean it's and i know that as i get older my eyes are not the greatest but this is very splitty um and so you really gotta watch it there, I split it. And that's just the chain. I mean, and I'm not the only one splitting it. Please remember, I saw them split it in the videos. And so, I might not be able to get a very long chain to show you. Because I keep splitting the yarn. And honestly, I've had one lady tell me, Oh, just keep going when you split the yarn. It'll work. It's stay up. No, I want, I don't like those little bubbles that it produces. So, yeah. Okay. So, as you can tell, it is super tiny. And, yeah, that would be the 10 stitches that you have in the magic ring. So, they're small um the sunflower is a big one but the dark i have i have to have enough light to see in order to make that second round so i can make the first round okay but the second round and not so much i'm gonna need light daylight um and part of that again is is that um slipping the or, or splitting the yarn so yeah and the truth is i haven't even started the other brown so yeah uh cute kits but they are definitely not a beginner project okay i'll just say that right now it's not something you want for a beginner project just because if i was a beginner i would be super frustrated and again i'm gonna have to go and google that yarn color and see what it means a i l what is that yeah a i l v l l i have no idea never heard of it um and that is the color name and chicken yellow, your guess is as good as mine. I, I just looked at the picture 
<laughs> and yeah, chicken yellow is the centers of the um, forget-me-nots and the puff flower, the chamomile, and the daisy. So that's what they're calling chicken yellow. So I'm guessing that means the sunflower is also chicken yellow. I didn't ever look. Brown, brown, brown. Yep. Sunflower petals, chicken yellow. <laughs> so, yeah. I have no idea what that means. So, anyway, I will let you guys off here. Thanks for watching and sorry for the back and forth. I feel kind of wishy washy on those kits. I was excited to get them. Not very well written. Don't know that I'll do anything with that, you know. So, uh, I will make these two and then we'll go from there. Maybe I'll learn the terminology as I go. The worst case is that the other one, I haven't even looked at the instructions and I'm hoping I can figure out colors and all that. Maybe it improves with time. Maybe they got better at, you know, maybe it was written in a foreign language and was translated. I, I really don't know, but chicken yellow? Where did that come from? I still won't. I'll never figure that one out. Anyway, y'all have a great week. Um, hopefully next week I'll have progress. <laughs> I do more ripping out on those than anything. So we'll see. You guys have a great week and God bless and thanks for watching. Bye.